Welcome back here in this new video tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to make a template to track the stock in, out and balance. As you see here in the screen, the balance stock will auto update as you keep on tracking the details of in and out of the stock. Let's start with the process of making this. In A3 cell, type stock in. Select these three cells, then merge. Below it, write column header of date item name and in quantity. Adjust the column size. In the D3 cell, type stock out. Select three cells and merge. Below it copy and paste these column headers. Change in to out here. Adjust column widths. In G3 cell, write stock balance. Select these two cells and merge them. Below this write item name and balance quantity. Now select it all and select till row number 50. This you can increase according to your requirement. Then apply the borders. Now, highlight stock in out and balance headers with different colors. Now, here in item name of stock balance, enter the items or products that you are selling. For example, I am entering here some electronic items. Now make drop down selection menu here in the item name column of stock in section. For this, select from B5 to B50. Then click on data tab. Then data validation. Here in this drop down, Choose list. In the source of list, click and select the item name range of the balance stock column. While selecting, take some more rows. Because if some item is added in future, it will appear in the drop down too. Then click on OK. Now you see, here the item selection drop down is created. Now copy the first drop down, then select item name range of stock out section. Right click on mouse. Click on paste special. Select the validation option. Then, click on OK. Now the drop down list for stock out section also created. Now let's add few transaction here in this stock in and out section. Now, here in this balance stock, we have to subtract the out quantity total from the in quantity total for each items. For this we have to use here sum if function. Here in the first cell, press equals then type sum if. Open a bracket. In the range, select the item name range of stock in section. Lock this range by pressing F4 key in the keyboard. Give a comma. In the criteria, Select the item name of stock balance section. Give a comma. In the sum range, select the stock in quantity range. Then lock this range by pressing F4. Now close the sum if function with a bracket. Now put minus symbol. Again write sum if function. Open bracket. In range, select the item name range of stock out section. Lock it by pressing F4. Give a comma, in criteria, select item name here in balance section. Type comma. In some range, select the quantity out range. Then lock this range by pressing F4 key. Close the bracket and press enter. Here we subtracted the stock out from stock in to get the balance. Now, when we update the records of stock in and out transaction, balance stock column will automatically update. Simply use the fill handle to drag the formula down. So, this is how we can make a simple template to track the in out and balance of inventory or stock in Microsoft Excel. If you want to practice this, download the workbook file from the video description below. Consider subscribing this channel if you have not. See you in next video tutorial.